The overall customer experience is something that can and should drive any sort of digital transformation. But what exactly is customer experience and how do we factor that into our transformation? I'm gonna talk about that here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world on their digital transformation journeys. And when we're helping those clients on their transformation journeys, one phenomena we find is that they're very inwardly focused when they start the project. They focus on all the things that are wrong with their operations, all the inefficiencies, the pain points that they as a team are experiencing. And oftentimes they tend to lose sight of the customer experience and what is the impact on the customer and how does this all tie back to the customer. So what I wanna talk about today is the whole concept of customer experience, what it is and how you can incorporate that into your digital transformation journey. So as I alluded to in the intro of this video, oftentimes organizations think inwardly. They look at those inefficiencies, the pain points, the broken processes, the manual processes, the duplicate re-entry of data. And while there certainly is a customer impact inherently on those broken processes or those inefficient processes, the focus oftentimes is often on how do we just fix those pain points that we feel as an organization. And it's a subtle but important change to change that lens and to look through the lens of the customer experience and also look at how does the customer experience that. And it may lead you to the same conclusions in some cases that yes, we're inefficient. Yes, we have manual re-entry, which is subject to errors and problems that affect the customer. But it may be that you're not thinking about everything that you should be addressing as part of your transformation or that you're not thinking about the most important things that you should be considering as part of your transformation. So one of the key things to do is to add that extra lens or that extra angle of your analysis when you're looking at your transformation to not just address those internal needs, but also to address and try to anticipate what those external needs of your customer are. One of the easiest ways to address customer experience in a way that most of us can relate to is to look at your business process mapping, the business process management or business process improvement function within your transformation. Most teams recognize inherently that they need to map out their processes and requirements, the future state definition, all that good stuff that we talk about in other videos on this channel. But most don't think about, let's do that from the perspective of the customer journey. So from the time even before a customer is a customer, when they're a prospect, when they're thinking about employing your services or products, what does that first touch point look like? What does that experience look like or what should it look like? What are the pain points of how they interact with your organization now and what are the ways we can improve that going forward. So this all begins with your marketing automation from the very first communication you might have with a prospect to your CRM system, which is your customer relationship management. So when you think about how they work through the sales pipeline and the sales cycle and the whole CRM domain of things, you wanna map that out. Certainly if you're providing service through a ticketing system like ServiceNow, or if you're tracking customer complaints through a product like ServiceNow, you might track those touch points there. But even your back-end operations, like your invoicing, your manufacturing, the distribution, the warehouse and shipping, pick, pack and ship, all those back office operations that may not seem like on the surface that they're directly impacting customers, but they are, you can look at it from the customer perspective. But what does that experience look like and feel like? And what should it look like and feel like? And how can we modify those processes to enable that vision? So again, it's not that much different than what you might do for your internally focused business processes, but you're looking at it from the perspective of the customer and you're going to prioritize differently based on those things that impact the customer the most. So one way to think about this too is if it's a pain point or a process improvement opportunity that both solves a problem internally in terms of efficiency or employee pain points or employee experience pain points, and if it's something that's undermining your customer experience or the customer's touch point with your organization, then that's something that that improvement or that potential improvement might be prioritized higher than something that's strictly an internal fix. So those are the things to think about is how can you prioritize your business process improvements based on the fact that it's also enabling a better customer experience. Once you've defined what those potential process improvements are and what that future state process map looks like from a customer experience perspective, now you can start prioritizing those business process changes. You can also be prioritizing potential tools and enhancements and software deployments that might better enable a customer experience. And you can also be deploying organizational changes and organizational change management people, human sides of things that will further enable that as well. 
So for example, you might find that if you're a B2B manufacturer, you're selling to other businesses, you may find that an e-commerce solution could be a good tool that you might deploy to provide a better customer experience so they can go online and look at the specs for the different products you provide, similar to what a retailer might do in a business to consumer environment. So it's really important to think outside the box and outside the realm of the normal operational efficiency mindset and look also at how can we provide that better customer experience, which by the way, will also lead to efficiencies and higher effectiveness and ultimately higher profits. And it's important to look at this from the perspective of people, process and technology and define an overall roadmap and strategy that enables that customer experience through people, process and technology improvements. Once you've defined all those potential improvements from a people, process and technology perspective, now you put it together into more of a formal, more structured transformation plan. What is that customer experience transformation plan gonna look like, which might just be part of your overall digital transformation or business transformation. But still, you're looking at it from the perspective of how are we gonna enable some of those customer experience enhancements that we've defined? What technologies are we gonna roll out? When are we gonna roll them out? When are we gonna roll out those process improvements? How are we gonna tie this all together? How are we gonna tie it back to the back office type stuff that maybe doesn't have a direct impact on our customer experience? But you want that overarching digital strategy, your digital transformation roadmap that includes your customer experience enhancements. And again, it may be that your early phase, early stage aspects of your transformation plan are gonna be heavily focused on customer experience. And then maybe later on, you get to some of the more efficiency or internal based enhancements. But in general, you wanna define what that overall roadmap's gonna look like. So these are a few of the things to think about as you think about what customer experience means in general and what it means to your transformation in particular. I've also included a number of links and downloads below that are meant to help you through your transformation journey, whether you're looking at customer experience, whether you're looking at enterprise technologies or business process improvements, change management improvements, or all of the above. I have a number of resources I've included below, so I encourage you to check those out. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.